Hi there, this is uh, Keith here uh, putting together a quick uh, introductory tutorial for WordPress. And this one is going to be about um, getting started with your WordPress blog and some of the settings that you might uh, want to play with uh, behind the scenes to customize your blog. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to need to get into the dashboard. So if you went just to the URL of your blog, as it's um, you know as it starts out, it will look something like this, and you would need to get into the dashboard. So if you're logged in, you might have a little banner like this, it'll let you get into the dashboard. Otherwise, uh, you go down here and where it says site admin, you'd have a, a little link that says log in, and that would be how you'd get yourself over to the dashboard side of your site, which is where you get to customize things, um, add posts and pages and all that good stuff. So the first thing we're going to look at is themes. So when we looked at our uh, blog site, it had this uh, this theme here, this sort of styling with the red bar here and black background here and a uh, certain color scheme to it. And there are a few different themes that you can use. So we'll go back to the dashboard and we're going to go down to uh, this set of menus here and appearance is the area where themes are and so you can play around with different themes that you think might be more or less attractive for your uh, blog site or later on if you're using a WordPress blog to teach with then um, some blog themes are going to be more useful for what you want to do so some themes uh, let you get a lot of text out there, a lot of content. Some themes are really suited for things like slideshows or showing lots of graphics. So the best way to figure it out is to uh, try out different things. So we come here to uh, appearance and then themes. We see sort of a, a mock-up of a number of different themes that we can take a look at. And one thing you want to do is typically settle on a theme before you start doing a lot of other editing to your site, because in some in cases, some cases, things like changing a menu for a WordPress site, all of those changes could be lost when you switch themes, because the theme will have a different way of uh, displaying or expressing those choices you've made. So I always like to make sure I pick a theme first and then go on to um, make other kinds of changes to the site. So. Some great ones here. Neoclassical is a really old theme. Looks okay. It's great for text. Um, uh, you've got uh, Amazing Grace, which a lot of people like. This one here, Copy Blogger, is the one that uh, I've been setting the student uh, blogs to by default. It looks like a pretty nice one. And uh, I think we'll stick with that. But if you wanted to change, you go to one of these here, hover over it, and you could do a live preview. So that would show you the blog with you know what you've got right now and what it would look like and you can say yeah I'm gonna choose that one or no maybe not um, so we're gonna stick with copy blogger okay so we've done that now we might want to do some customization so we're gonna select that customize link and that was under um, appearance again. Most themes these days are going to give you a fair number of, um, of different choices around how you might customize your blog. And you know, don't worry, you don't have to do all this right away. You know, this is something that you might want to play around with depending on how important it is to you. So a classic one is you might want to have a header image. So if you click on that, It'll see, it'll show you what you've got for images uploaded for the theme right now. It says there aren't any. So we're going to add a new image. And in the media library for this blog, I already have an image that I uploaded. <clears throat> and it's fairly ugly, so I'm not going to use that as the as uh, the one that I want to use. So I'm going to go find another one. So I'm selecting upload files over here. And then I come down here to select files. And it's going to give me a Windows Explorer window. And let's see, I'm going to pick one that I've used on a number of the course sites. So I think it looks pretty good. So it's highlighted. I'm going to come over here and hit select and crop. So one thing it's going to say is suggested image dimensions 800 times 150 pixels. 
over here it'll give you the chance to crop that image to that size you could also um, uh, preset your you know have your image already set to that uh, set of dimensions so I'm just going to bring it down like that I think that works pretty good get a look at how that looks and so I'm going to hit save and publish up here now other themes will have the option of uh, putting your header image up and often they will look pretty much the same they'll look just like that so you know, it's a very similar sort of system so we're going to take a look at the site so now we have the same theme but we have a header image and now that instead of that great big black area or, or just below that black area I guess 